Hey guys, it's me Mary, and a lot of you have been requesting for me to do a story time video, which I've actually wanted to try for a while, and it's a little bit ironic that I've never done one considering that I'm a writer. But I figured I would do a story time about the meaning behind my song, Rejection, because a lot of people have been asking for it, and quite frankly, I'm ready to talk about it. So here it goes. So there's a guy that I've had an off and on crush on for about two years. I met him when I started staying at his hotel. He is the assistant manager at this hotel and I stay there pretty frequently, not just because of him, but because the deals are really good off season and I absolutely love the area and in the summertime I can't set foot near it because it's too expensive, too crowded, congested, just no part, you don't want any part of it really in the summer despite what people tell you. Anywho, he is the assistant manager at this hotel and he became a family friend to my parents and I and he's, and it's kind of funny because he's actually old enough to be my father. This guy is I believe he's 53. I don't know when his birthday is, unfortunately, but I, I'm pretty sure he's 53. Anywho, I would see him about one or two weekends a month, depending on how much I could afford to stay at the hotel the particular month. And we would have a lot of interactions that led me to believe that he actually <laughs> had some feelings for me. And he has a history of being with younger women. His ex-wife is a child bride who is only two years older than me at the time that he met her. They were married for two years, I believe, before that marriage went down in flames, but we're not going to talk about that. That's not, the, that's not the story we're here to talk about. The story we're here to talk about is rejection. So, you know, he would do a lot of things, like talk to me about his past relationships. He would talk to me about his hopes and his dreams and what he does outside of work and a lot of these things that you wouldn't just talk about with someone that you just met. And as time went on, I could feel my feelings getting stronger and stronger for him. I wouldn't say they were feelings of love, but I would say that it was a pretty intense crush. And about, about, about two, three weeks ago, I decided to take a risk. That's something I've been trying to do recently is take more risks in my personal life in different aspects. So I took a risk and I said, you know what? I am going to ask him if I can give him my phone number because we've known each other for two years. You know, it's, it's time. It's time for me to make a move and see where this is going to go. So I walked right up to the front desk when it was really quiet around 7 that night. And I said, hey, can I ask you a question? Insert his name there. He says, sure. I said, I was, well, we've known each other for a while. And I was wondering if I could give you my phone number just to chat sometime. Or maybe we could hang out outside of work because we've never gotten to do that, unfortunately. And he whips his phone out of his pant pocket and holds it up to me and says, my phone is full. Doesn't say anything else. I stand there for a moment. I feel the shame and humiliation forming on my face. And I'm like, sure, okay, yeah, that's fine. Bye. And then I proceeded to walk back to the pool area with my parents who knew that I wanted to take that risk. And they encouraged me to take that risk. And then my dad's asking me, so, how did it go? And I can feel the guy staring at me through the window in the front desk, and then his buddy that works the pool area also watching me, and I'm sitting there trying not to cry because that was friggin' embarrassing. But, yeah, that's, that's how he rejected me, and I don't hate him, but I lost a lot of respect for him, and I actually faced him again just this past weekend that I'm filming this video and it was kind of funny because he kept trying to kiss my parents but he even like went way out of his way to please them and he would try he would try to nose into my business still 
in which he lost that right personally when he rejected me like such a coward. And like I said, it wasn't the fact that he rejected me that bothered me. It was the cowardly way that he did it because this is someone that I had known for two years and someone that I thought had cared about me, at least in friendship. Clearly he doesn't. He just was pulling my heartstrings like everybody else often does. So he, yeah, so he was trying to kiss up to me. I remember the first night I walked in, which was that Friday night, and he's asking me, hey, how's it going? What's going on? And all I would, all I said to him was, good. I didn't say anything else to him that night. And then that night he also, t when I was leaving the pool area, he was like, have a good night, Mayor. And all I did was hold up this sarcastic peace sign without even looking at him because I refused to look at him because I was so furious. And the following night, he absolutely did not set foot near me pretty much at all, except from a distance, I heard him say, Hey, how's it going, kid? Because he knows that being me being called a kid when I'm almost 20 kind of irks me a little bit. So I turned around and I looked at him and I said, great, how, how's it going, coward? And needless to say, he did not say anything else to me that night. And that's how, pretty much how rejection was made. I wrote rejection about three or four days after that had happened, so it was still pretty fresh on my mind. And I'm really proud of rejection and I hope to do more original songs for you guys and I hope to do more story times too. So if there's something that you want me to talk about, whether it's from my books or something I have yet to write in my books, because my, my third book, my memoir, covers quite a bit of what happened has happened in my life so far, be sure to let me know. I'm always taking requests and most of the requests are pretty good, so I tend to go through with them. Bye guys!